Hello everybody, welcome back to the tech space. And in this video we're going to be going over how to update Windows 10 now that it is 2018. I thought I'd make a new set of videos for you guys on each operating system, uh, showing you guys the different features that it offers for the new year. Even though there's not any direct updates, there are going to be obviously uh, updates rolling out as the year goes by. And I would say around the start of February, you should expect to see a lot of updates going on your computer. So without further ado, we're just going to get right into the video. Welcome back to the Tech In this video, we're going to be going over how to optimize your PC and how to do that in its most effective way. So there's tons of videos on the internet, tons of videos that I've made personally. I want to get all these concepts put into one. And we're just going to go over them as pretty much as fast as possible, but still explaining them. I'm not going to make it super complicated. Just make it, um, I just want to make it so that you guys can follow along as well as me explain it. Um, but I don't, again, want to get super in-depth because I don't want this video to end up like the video I made before last year that was like, well, it wasn't last year, obviously, well, last year, but it was like a, a month ago. Um, that ended up being like an hour and a half long on the same topic. I just want to get straight to the, you know, the point and explain everything. So I'm going to start with the most important to least important, and we're just going to go ahead and go straight through this. Now, basically, this is what you're going to want to do. So just go to the uh, desktop. Make sure you have your desktop loaded up. Go to your search bar down here in Windows. And type in M-S-C-O-N-F-I-G. I'll put all this in the uh, description below as well. Click enter on system configuration. You can also go to search and type in system configuration and that will also pop up uh, with the same thing. Click enter and you'll get this dialog box. In this dialog box you're going to want to do specific things so just pay attention. Uh, click selective startup, load system services, load startup item, uncheck original boot config, go to boot. Right here at the top, click advanced option, go to number of processors, check this, go to the maximum number in here, click on it, whether it's 2, 4, 6, or 8, or even more if you have a really powerful PC, um, those are the amount of processors, uh, both logical and um, on your CPU. So, you want to click Skylock, next you want to uncheck maximum memory. Make sure you have debug unchecked. Click OK. Go ahead and click apply. If it says restart PC, click restart later or not now. Um, go to services. Click up. Click hide all Microsoft services. Uncheck all of these boxes. Uncheck hide all Microsoft services box. Click apply. If it says restart again, just make sure that um, you start your computer. And next, what you're going to want to do is just go to services again. Um, click on manufacturer so it's separated by manufacturer. Do not delete anything that is um, on your PC by either Intel, Microsoft, or the manufacturer of your PC, whether it be Acer, HP, Dell, or anything like that. The only thing that you can uh, uncheck in here, which disables the services of it, are things that you've un um, personally installed on Google Chrome. So if you don't know what you're doing on this part, just skip it. Next, go to startup. Click open task manager if you're prompted to. If not, you can do what I'm doing in the next screen in this screen. So click open task manager. When the task manager pops up, go to startup and disable all of the startup items here. You don't need items to set up when your PC dies, you can manually start them like a normal person, I guess you would say. Because um, with the computer starting them, it just um, increases the impact on the computer when it's starting and makes it take longer, which obviously is something that we usually try to avoid. So, disable all of these. And then next, you're just going to want to click X on Task Manager. Click apply again, make sure you click apply. And you can go ahead and restart your PC now, or you can wait till later, it doesn't matter. Um, either way, everything will have to be perfectly fine. Just when you're done with this whole video, restart your computer, 
and then uh, everything will be applied. Click OK. Now what we're going to want to do is go down to the search bar again and type in control panel. The control panel is going to go to the update settings and we're going to want to update Windows 7, 8, 8.1 or 10, whichever one you have. So if you don't see this, up here in the top right corner of the screen it says view by, click category. A lot of times it's in this view and it's harder to find things and it's just, you know, it doesn't follow along with the video. I've noticed that from creating videos in the past. So make sure you go to um, category view up here and then click system and security. Okay. On the gray box it says check for updates. Let it load. Once it's done, click on the gray box here that says install and then restart your computer when the updates are done. Um, again, you can do that to end this video. So, next we're going to go down here to Windows Defender. It's right under Windows Update. Again, if you don't see any of these, you can go to search and type it in. And it'll simply just pop up. Click Enter. Windows Defender settings. And we'll be brought to the same menu as I'm showing on the screen. Now, you're going to want to click Open Windows Defender Security Center and that'll open up this little blue shield down here and so basically mine's already up to date but I'm going to show you how to scan it really fast go to virus threat and protect and then you're just going to want to click quick scan quick scan it like once a month if you're really active downloading stuff quick scan it like twice a month um, but I wouldn't worry about doing it any more than that um, next, what you're going to do is go back, and you're going to want to make sure that this says no action needed under virus, virus and protection settings. Now, if you have Windows 7, 8, 8.1, that'll pop up in a message down here in the bottom right, so you won't need to go here. And you can also, again, go to the control panel and update it there by going back to the previous screen, and then seeing so that's Windows Defender keeps your uh, PC uh, secure and clean as well from antiviruses, I mean not antiviruses, from viruses. Sorry, I'm trying to like get this done. Maybe I should slow down, but I don't want this video to be too long, like I said. And there's still a few things to go over. So next what we're gonna want to do is close this out. No need to click apply. And then we're gonna want to go to search again. Well actually we don't want to go to search. Take your mouse, hover over the power uh, button down here where it shows you your battery life, right click on it and you click power option. In here you're going to want to click high performance, change plane setting, just do what I have here for this screen, change advanced power settings on the bottom in here, and just follow along with what I do in this menu. Go to hard disk, turn off hard disk after, put in a bunch of nines so that it doesn't turn off the hard disk ever. Because this will mean it's not active for this much time. Your computer's not active for this much time, which you know won't happen. The computer will turn off or it will die before then. So next we go to Internet Explorer and go to maximum performance on Java timer frequency. Next go all the way down, go to PCI Express. Link power state, turn this off for both of them. Go to processor power management. Make sure this is at 100% for both of them on minimum processor state and maximum. And make sure your system phone cooling policy is active. <coughs> Next, you just want to click OK. Go back to your control panel. And you're done with the power options. 
So I want to move into the next section, which is in custom insecurity. Little load. For some reason, it's putting a little touch here, I'm just gonna let um, but in system and security, basically you're just gonna go down all the way to the bottom here, free up this space, click on it, let, wait for this screen to pop up, it's really small, if it doesn't pop up, it will pop up down here on the taskbar, and it will have this flashing yellow as it does right now. Click on it, and you'll get this screen, or you'll get a loading screen, and just wait for this to pop up. Now this deletes files that your computer doesn't need, you don't have to think twice about it, all these are junk uh, files used basically um, temporary fire files that are stored from websites onto your um, onto your browser in order to help your browser connect again once it pops back up click ok click delete file and i'll show you that part too it's very simple so just wait for this to load another good thing to do is right click on it the icon down here and just pin it just pin password and the important things that you have for uh, something that will help your in or not your computer, but speed up your computer. Um, if not having too many things on your desktop, that your computer isn't a special fast one or it's a laptop. Once this loads back up, as you can see, I'll uncheck, uncheck all these boxes in this little lock down here that was there. Well, uh, it'll be gone. I'm sorry, I'm a little tired and it's a dream. Um, but check all of these boxes in this one. Sorry for straightening the video. Okay. Check all of these. And as you can see, I have 10 gigabytes of stuff on here. Which is ridiculous. So check them all, click OK, and click delete files. Let this load, and then you're done.